Investigations into two deadly sawmill explosions in our region are now complete. WorkSafe BC alleges there were violations and is handing over its evidence to the courts. It means some of the most sought after answers are still months away. Two deadly events shocked northern BC and left thousands demanding answers. Now, with its investigations into the Babine and Lakeland explosions complete, WorkSafe BC is sending the matter to Crown Council. When WorkSafe BC comes to these decisions, it's in very serious circumstances, and these are serious consequences. I'll just remind everybody, four workers lost their lives. Forty-two workers were injured, some of them extremely seriously. Although she won't provide details on the specific cases, Roberta Ellis alleges WorkSafe found violations under the Workers' Compensation Act, which could include any of the following. Violations in regard to the employer's obligations, their general duty obligations to maintain a safe and healthy workplace. It can uh, include violations in regard to supervision, to training, to regular inspection. The cases will now be in the hands of Crown Council, which will determine if charges are laid. The courts can impose penalties on individuals or companies, whereas WorkSafe can only target companies. The courts can also use harsher penalties. In the case of a first conviction, a fine of not more than, and it's approximately $652,000. And in the case of a continuing offence, further fines for each day during which the offence continues, imprisonment for a term not exceeding six months, or both fine and imprisonment. WorkSafe wouldn't provide a cause, but confirmed sawdust was the fuel source. Both sawmills had another similarity. Both mills were processing significant amounts of beetle kill wood. And while the moisture content of any wood, along with its particle size, is an issue in regard to the combustibility of dust, this wood, beetle kill wood, does arrive at mills dryer. A statement from Greg Stewart, CEO of Sinclair Group Forest Products, which owned Lakeland Mills, says he was surprised by the tone of the announcement and expresses disappointment over the lack of answers. The union representing the sawmill workers also expressed disappointment. I think it's... Uh disappointing from this point of view. I think everybody was looking for uh, some finality to the issue, uh, some findings, and this just simply uh, moves it over to another venue for the Crown to make a decision. WorkSafe will now finalize evidence reports with the goal of submitting them to Crown Council early in the new year. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.